What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. We've got a great video for you guys today. We're going to talk about Postmates drivers getting deactivated and what they can do to get reactivated. Without further ado, let's dive in. Number one reason is uh, basically you break your fleet agreement. You installed Postmates and Fleet before earning money. You signed the fleet agreement. Uh, basically, that's going to govern your delivery, govern the delivery drivers, and you have to honor this agreement as an independent contractor. Obviously, there's a lot in there, and my bet is that 99% of us never read it. Um, it's on us, I suppose, if we get deactivated. Not working, so if you're essentially on the app and you're getting orders come in and you're just not delivering them, not showing up, um, that's, you know, obviously going to get you deactivated. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, okay. Sorry, I've lost my spot. Um, maintaining a uh, decent rating obviously is going to be part of it. So customers, if customer is dissatisfied over and over and over again, that's also going to get you deactivated. If you dis, uh, disregard their community guidelines, that's essentially um, if you harm someone, hurt someone, discriminate, any type of extortion or fraud, theft and vandalism, misrepresentation, each thing has its own long list of reasons. Odds are no one's trying to do any of this. Moral of the story is if you think you're doing something wrong, you probably are with Postmates. Um, so as you guys know, there's no ratings here, but... It, like I said earlier, if you get enough angry complaints, they're going to essentially deactivate you there. And like most delivery uh, food service type ones, if you're eating the food you're supposed to be delivering, you're probably going to get deactivated. If you deliver half of a cheesy gordita crunch with your molars imprinted into the bite mark, probably going to get deactivated. Postmates is a pretty tough one for reactivation. Um, pretty much your only option is to contact driver support. What's kind of nice about this is I feel like the driver support with Postmates is easier to deal with than a lot of other gig companies. But this really is your only option with Postmates. My rule of thumb is I'm going to have as much information ready as possible. Um, again, if you do have a dash cam, this is usually going to help you with delivery in general. It's going to be a little bit harder to, to like get deactivated fraudulently because no one's in the car with you. But, um, obviously if they claim, you know, you ate half of their chalupa, that's a problem, you know, and you got to fight that if you can, um, you know, I think the big thing is being persistent and not giving up. Don't send one. Don't call or email them once, call or email them like a hundred times. But anyways, that's what we got for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, comment, subscribe. If you have any other additional questions, let us know in the comments below. We also left some other links that might be helpful in the description below. Check those out. Stay safe out there more than anything, guys, and stay tuned for more updates.